We've got Tim Baker on the line with us. He's part of our tunnel traffic team, which is a group of commuters that we've compiled who is going to be keeping in touch with us throughout this entire three week closure. All right, Tim, good morning to you. Oh, good morning. OK, so tell me, where did you go this morning? What was your commute like? Well, uh, I went from uh, the west side of Queen Anne down to the South Center area by the mall, and uh, it took me today about 30 minutes. Uh, my old commute on the viaduct down 509, 518 used to take about 20, 25. So I saw about a five to 10 minute delay this morning. I find that the one thing that really the city of Seattle could do better is that it took me 20 minutes to go from Queen Anne to the Interstate 5. So I, one other thing I saw was that they could do a better job of synchronizing the lights. The lights, I kept, you know, you go a block, stop, go a block, stop, go a block, stop. If somehow they could figure out better synchronization of lights, I think that would really help the traffic flow getting out of downtown and onto the freeway. Well, the mayor talked about uh, the fact that they did change some lights to get them synchronized to help drivers like yourself move through downtown a little bit quicker. Uh, what time did you leave your house? I'm curious. I left at 6.52. Okay. And I got to South Center about 7.22. So I guess it was 20 minutes to the freeway and then 10 minutes on the freeway to Tuckwilla. So the I-5 for me southbound was flowing just great. No problem. It's and just getting through the town you, the other thing that the city, I don't know what the city can do to this is these Uber and Lyft drivers would just stop in the road to let people out or pick people up. And that mm -hmm. causes little, these little micro traffic jams. So I don't know what the city can do about those guys, but they need to not do that. And since you're on our tunnel traffic team, are you going to continue driving to work every day? Or are you going to be taking public transportation or other ways to get to work? Uh, I will be considering the bus a few times and maybe a little combination of light rail uh, and bus. Uh, but you know, as far as this morning's, for me, the 30-minute flow, um, I even left a little bit later than I normally would. So I don't know if it's just the first day people are, are doing different things to uh, alter their commute, but it wasn't that bad. But, you know, talk to me in a week, it could be a completely different situation. And we will be talking to you uh, all throughout this closure. Tim, thanks very much for your first-hand account of what your commute was like from Seattle's Queen Anne neighborhood all the way to South Center.